So in this video, I want to introduce you to something uh, called remnant cholesterol. You may have never heard of this before. So I'm just going to give you a brief, simple introduction to it. Uh, you can get more data from Dave Feldman. He has a lot of videos on this. I'll put some links down below. But remnant cholesterol versus LDL cholesterol. There's so much emphasis on LDL being the, the bad cholesterol and creating all this damage. Remnant cholesterol is way more important to focus on because it is one of the best indicators of mortality. It's very atherogenic, which means it creates placking. It creates problems with your arteries, damage in the arteries. And what it is, it's basically the plasma cholesterol, the cholesterol in your blood that is not HDL or LDL, okay? So you may have thought that total cholesterol is just basically the combination of HDL and LDL. Actually, it is not. The way that you would find remnant cholesterol is basically you take your total cholesterol and you minus your HDL and the LDL and you get this figure, okay? And there's a rating system right here. If it's 17 or less milligrams per deciliter, it's optimum. If it's 18 to 23, it's okay. If it's between 24 and 29, it's concerning. If it's 30 or greater, it's very concerning. Okay, now, why would you have higher numbers versus lower numbers? It really has to do with a complex subject, which I'm going to let Dave explain in a, a video down below. The simplicity of it is that when you have too much sugar or carbohydrates or too much insulin, you're going to create a lot more of this extra cholesterol right here. So it's really uh, too much concentrated stored energy uh, and throwing things out of balance. So it's basically spilling over into this extra remnant cholesterol, and that's what's creating the damage. So I'm going to put a link down below uh, to Dave's site so you can do the calculations. He has a little uh, remnant cholesterol calculator that you can plug in the figures and also get some more data. But I just wanted to introduce you to this concept because um, it's very, very important when you get your numbers to do the calculation and not just focus on one of the numbers. You want to see the big picture and understand what's happening. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, so there's a whole bunch of people that really need this information. So press the share button and let's get it way out there.